Hi friend, Kat Clausen here. Welcome to my studio. So I finished the grant painting and in a little bit I'm going to show it to you. But first I wanted to tell you a little bit about this book which I think is a great read. I believe you'd love it. It compares the generalships of Grant and Lee and kind of lays it out as to how Grant won. But um, I wrote a few things down about Grant and I went through and underlined things in the book too that were so interesting. But Grant saw things in the simplest, most straightforward way. I think that he liked to take chaos and make it into a manageable situation and that helped him in battle. He failed at every other occupation and when a person knows this in their heart, failure, 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 it just makes them want it so bad when they do like hit gold and they know, you know, man, I can do this one. And uh, he absolutely did. One thing Grant did is that he always wrote his orders down and Lee didn't. Lee would just speak the orders and expect that particular officer to go get the job done. Oftentimes the, in the heat of the battle that officer might forget or the, in his head change things around and often meant failure. Grant wrote everything down. Now when a man got drunk, Grant knocked him down, bound and gagged him, and had him thrown into the guard room. So this, he was a tough dude. I think sometimes we believe Grant, you know, we see pictures of him as president and he seems so stately, but man, this guy was, this guy was tough. He, wrote, he had said, Think about what you are going to do, not what you think Lee is going to do. And that kept those officers in the present moment and solving the problem that they had at hand and what, you know, possibly was under their control. Okay, so Grant had terrific self-control and because of that, he could then control his men because he could really, really get a handle on himself, on what he was doing. And that just, in a leader, that just slips into the followers and they, they pattern themselves after the leader. Okay, simplicity, honesty, modesty. Absolutely grand. Okay, now I'm gonna lift up the camera and you're gonna see Grant. Okay, here we've got Grant. There's his gorgeous face, the blue eyes. I literally had to get mad, <laughs> angry when I painted this to be able to get this sternness in his face. And um, I put in, as you can see here, war paint. You know, almost like uh, Native American Indians would, would paint their faces before battle. Or you even see football players with the, the black under the eyes. Um, I felt that that made him look fierce and determined. Here is his hand on the tree. I'm going to pull out a little bit here. Now, as you can see, I really changed the color of the coat from my thumbnail because in the process of the painting I realized that uh, that the Union Blue was really going to work better. Something else interesting I want to show you uh, down here, the horizon line, I put in what I call a bloodline because after all 600,000 people died in the Civil War and it was a very bloody battle and I believe because the photographs of the Civil War are black and white it it reduces some of the horror for us but I wanted to show that here. Now I'm going to zoom in tight again on the face you're going to see that just that toughness and determination 
um, and real masculine beauty in those eyes. If you'd like to see more of Grant, visit my website. I hope you do. I love you very much, friend. And remember, it's always love.